out how is everyone doing today. <coughs> Excuse me. I decided to do a quick, well, maybe not a quick live today. I did some random live today. Um, it's Sunday, Sunday night, so I have my other children, or all my children, together for dinner. So a way to stay connected. So I decided I would make some lasagna. Now, growing up, my mom had this delicious lasagna, but it had so many steps to it. And I kind of didn't make lasagna too often because it was too complicated. At least I thought it was with all the steps she had. Then I started buying Catelli pasta and I found on the back of the box of Catelli lasagna noodles, a really easy recipe. So I had been making that. And then the last time I made it, I was using Catelli um, noodles usually, or Catelli Smart, it was a, it's a purple box. Last time I went to make it, I got a, some pre uh, lasagna, box of lasagna noodles from a friend. So I got given the oven ready lasagna noodles. So I tried it with them. It was so much easier to make. It's cut, cut out a step completely. Now, if you want to make it, and I will put the recipe in the description after the live. I'll put directions for both either using regular lasagna noodles that you have to boil and, and that, or the directions for using the oven ready lasagna. Now this, simple ingredients. You need box, box of about 16 pieces of lasagna noodles, whatever brand, but oven ready is really easy. You need one to two pounds of ground beef. I'm only using one this time. Sometimes I use two for meatier sauce. Uh, it says one jar or 700 mils, which is about 24 ounces of whatever spaghetti sauce. Uh, I use a little extra. These ones are 680, so it's just under that amount. So usually you could use a couple, plus I have a little leftover. And then you use one liter, which is like the big container of ricotta cheese. I prefer cottage cheese, so I usually either get a big one or a couple small ones. And some shredded mozzarella cheese. It's about two cups for the eight ounce block and then some Parmesan cheese. Now I'm going to start by turning on my oven. And since I'm using the um, oven ready, it cooks a little higher. So I'm just going to turn you around here. So you're going to be able to watch. And I'm going to turn on the oven to 400 degrees. So that could preheat while I am making the, uh, or starting the ground beef. I'm going to put this on about medium high. Should have bought the packages, but the, this was a cheaper selection or option. It's a little bit more of a pain to open, but. Put my scissors in the sink. I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna move some of my, some of my stuff out of the way. I don't need it on my stove. Like I said, sometimes I use two pounds, sometimes I use one pound. This time we're using one. You can use medium, you can use lean. I just uh, need to drain some grease out of it. I got this handy little chopper mixer thing. I don't know how we call it pampered chef, but I've seen other ones other places. I'm just going to chop it up a bit. I'm going to break it up into smaller pieces. I want to have a nice meaty sauce. We don't want big clumps of meat in it. Switch over here. 
Let's see my comments. Look at that. Sean. We got Lance. Hello, Floss. Floss is saying have a goodbye. Hello to everyone. TGIF. Hello, Amy. Hello, Cruising Teen. More than likely Sharon. Or Gary there too. Hello, hello. Sharon says she has that pampered chef chopper and she loves it. I do too. So I'll try to keep an eye on the comments. It's just easier to break up ground meat. So I'm not banging, I will <laughs> it'll make a lot of noise. You can just tap it, it comes off. So if you're doing it with the oven ready noodles, this is the hard most work of making the whole thing. It's broken up enough. And I'm just gonna use the, my spatula. Oops. Miss some. This is just a silicone spatula. My son's preferred spatula for the kitchen because you can leave it in the pot, it won't burn, but I don't leave it in. And it won't scratch your non-stick stuff, so. I might crank that up a little more. I don't want to be here all day cooking this. And then you can just use whatever your favorite sauce is. So I got an original and the garlic, and it's my leftover, so. Once I get this cooked up mostly, then I will put the spaghetti sauce in it. And that's the biggest part of making this whole thing. Is anybody else? I'm going to be chatting because I don't have any guests in the basement yet. So once we get past this, I'm going to guests in the basement, then we'll bring them up and we can chat amongst, them, amongst ourselves. Once I get to the next part, I can also drop the link if anybody wants to come up. So this is the hardest part of the lot. Not the hard, the longest, tedious part of getting me cooked. Don't want to cook it too high. Maybe a little bit more. We don't want to be here all day. We want to get in the oven so it's going to be cooked in time for dinner. I have two adult sons. My youngest still lives with me and him and his girlfriend have the basement to themselves. My oldest son and his wife are coming up on their five year anniversary. I guess I should have, I could have made this an anniversary dinner. I guess we'll do that next weekend then. Celebrate their anniversary. They live in an apartment about oh, 10 minutes away from me. However, they just bought their first house, so they will be moving probably in a month or so to a little community southwest of here. It's about, about 30, 30, 35 minutes away. A little bit farther, but oh dear. And this is not too greasy, so I'm just going to put my sauce in here. 
with the oven ready noodles you want. It's be a little saucier. This helps the noodles cooking. I also find if I don't put enough sauce in, I, I usually run short when I'm putting the layers. So. Use that one. Use this leftover one. Try not to slop it all over. Like that. I'm gonna get myself though. to decide if I want more. Sure. I probably should have grabbed a second pound of ground beef, but or you can use ground turkey. I used to use ground turkey most of the time. And you don't have to you don't have to cook it, cook it till it's hot. Might want to warm it a bit, but it's going to be in the oven for a while, so it's going to be. So I'm just going to move this over here, and then I'll bring you guys over. So I'm just going to pause my camera for a second. Still talk to you. I'm just gonna move things around. Just takes me a minute because I have a camera. I don't want to just connect my camera because then I'll have to start all over. We don't want to do that. We need cords so we can just chat here for a little while without my computer going on me. Just need one more thing. Sit and do this. Came in late. What are we making? We're making lasagna. Amy's gonna come up when she gets home and changed. We got Lily in here making lasagna. Your sister's making lasagna tonight. Sounds good. And I skipped the garlic bread. But I did make some black bean brownies for dessert. They're behind my computer. I can show you those after. Garlic bread or bruschetta? I like bruschetta, but I've never made it. And hi, Debbie. Yeah. So I'm just trying to turn this down a little bit. Hopefully you can still see me. And we'll take the banner out of there.
and my auto label. Excuse me, hello. Maybe my little one. No. Probably should have moved that better, but we'll start this way. Uh, I've got one box already open. Oops, sorry. We start with putting some sauce on the bottom. So this is really easy, basically, oops, no dog here in there. Um, hooking up your ground meat, whether that be ground turkey or ground beef. Throwing in the spaghetti sauce. If you're, not, if you're using regular lasagna noodles, then you have to cook those and all that rigmarole that goes with that. A little bit more. You're using oven ready. And you just put your sauce down. And then you're gonna put your layer your lasagna noodles in. Overlap them a bit. See if it needs to slide over. I need to get an actual lasagna pan because my other ones are just a little off here. Break one, but put across the end there. A little bit more. There. My boys love lasagna. I don't make it that often. And then the next layer is. Cheese or ricotta cheese, whichever you choose, prefer. Uh, I've grown up with cottage cheese lasagna, so that's my preference. You know, so sometimes I get cottage cheese and it's so watery, and this time it's thick. You never know. Can't win for losing on <laughs> I prefer the thicker stuff and the more curds, not not the way. One thing I like with the borders being open, I hopefully can get over shopping. So you guys over there have large curd cottage cheese. Which my friend bought one time for me and it was delicious. Now I'm going to sprinkle on some mozzarella cheese. Now this was eight ounce. Comes about two cups. And then we're going to put some more sauce. Try not to get on myself. Hello, Catherine. I thought she's she a great idea. Yes, she did. Yes, I'm using oven ready. I've made it before with just regular and boiled the, the noodles first. I just found it took a lot of time and oh, enormous. Hello, Becky Allen. Use cottage cheese. Yeah, that's the other one my mom made, made used to have. Yeah, you're gonna. This one doesn't. I see another. Love those onions, cottage cheese, but I don't like ricotta. Yeah, that's, that's my, mine too. <laughs> Back down, floss. Everybody saying hi to each other. Okay. I gotta get moving here and get this in the oven so it gets done before the sun gets over here. Oh, 
almost bought a foil um, lasagna pan yesterday. Oh. Are you ready? Hello, Amy. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm taking advantage of the niceness outside. That's the thing. It looks like you're outside there. So. Hi, Becky. Hi. So Malibu, he's out here. Azul was, but she ran back in when I came out. Well, we had some rain earlier. That's only, yeah. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Debbie. Aurelia and Becky. Not even 40 degrees, but it's still a little chilly here. Mm, it is. I'll show you. We'll do another layer of pasta. It's 75 here. I wish it was 75. Another layer of pasta, and then some more lobby cheese. Debbie, I am off work. Yep, yeah, she's on her balcony enjoying the lovely weather. I wish it was hot warm here. I don't have a lot of room on the end of the table here. <laughs> Lasagna, but I'm lazy. <laughs> so I find this one very easy to make. I'm never big, big on lasagna because I don't like ricotta cheese and I don't like cottage cheese either. And then living by myself, like. Yeah. It's, it's easier to buy whatever. <laughs> nice, Sharon. There is one uh, restaurant that does do some for sale that makes a veggie lasagna that I really enjoy too. Whoops. There's a local store that sells it, sells it for them, but it's like half a tray and it's like $14, $15. Oh, wow. If I buy it, I buy it for me because nobody else likes it. Yeah. So this is just basically repeating the layers, the, the noodle, sauce on the bottom, the noodles, cottage cheese, mozzarella cheese, sauce, and then noodles again. And this one layer is sauce. And I do one more layer and then it's just noodles on top. I'm just trying to make something different because I've been doing the same old, same old, and <laughs> I do something different. We haven't had lasagna for a while. You're getting snow. Ugh. Who's getting snow? Becky says we're about to get a bit of snow. We had a few flakes yesterday, the day before. Well, it wasn't even flakes really. It was like pellets of snow. Not. Not quite hail or sleep, but the like snow pellets. It was so okay. Green. I don't know, it might cheap out. Think this is my last layer. Maybe. Is this in here? What was, did Lance leave because he was outnumbered, or is he on his way to Michael Ann's house for dinner? Well, he was in the basement before I come up, and then I looked over and he was gone. But I looks like I found somebody else in the basement. Hello, Kenny. 
Howdy. Hey. How are you doing today? Oh, doing just fine and dandy. I think I'm going to be lazy and make this my last layer. I just uh, actually just got out of a fresh, clean shower. Nice. Okay. So. I haven't made it there yet today. I guess it'll be tonight's thing. Uh, because, uh, my, I'm going to be out all day tomorrow, starting early morning, so. Yeah. I don't have to, I'm doing anything tomorrow. I think I'm going to do one less layer this time, because this pan's not as deep as. Yeah, my dad, my dad's got to go doctor's appointment in the morning and we got to go finish paying bills for the ones that we didn't get friday um sharon is wanting to know if those are a no boil noodle yeah these are oven ready so you don't have to boil them first which is a lot easier i used to the rusty baby i got off the box of was telly smart noodles and they were just a regular noodle and uh you have to boil them first and then i always had problems with them sticking together so embrace it needs to take a fresh clean shower brb so i did one less layer i usually do paper layer. I don't know what happened to my good lasagna pan. So I've done that's like three layers of noodles there. And then you top layer, you just put your sauce on top and then some cheese. stuck to the bottom and then on the top of that we've got a little fresh parmesan and a sprinkle on top as well or you can use you know the already grated stuff in the bottle but my son won't let us buy that anymore <laughs> since he did culinary he's like well we use fresh stuff Well, I braided it myself. Uh, maybe it's the color of your computer screen because it looks red to me. <laughs> What's up? Well, he's asking why the sauce looks brown and not red. Because it's got meat mixed in with it? <laughs> there we go. That was a very noisy cake. I appreciate that. Never used them. Put it with food. Get them. I might tell mother about big was on your pen. Well, I sort of boiled, boiled one yesterday, but I was walking and I figured they would get all mutilated in the bag. So, grab my foil. Wipe my hands off because they're a mess. That's not what last part. Try again. Put the foil. Keeping it up a bit so it doesn't stick to the cheese. Hey, Danny. Lance, I'm fine. Hey, Danny. Hey, Lance. Some stuff away, and I just don't chat with you guys. 
So if you're using regular noodles and they're already pre-cooked, the noodles, then you put it in at 375. If you're using the oven ready, then you put it in at 400. You have to cook the noodles. It takes a little longer, so I'm going to set this for 45 minutes. 45. We keep it covered for 45 minutes, and then we take the foil off for the last 15. And one second. still here. I'm just going to move my webcam so I'll see better. Come on, webcam. Our junkie. So Catherine is shopping on Instacart. Ingredient make lasagna. She wants to know what kind of red sauce you. I just use whatever spaghetti sauce I like, or whatever. This time it was kind of whatever was cheap. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. There. Oh, I don't need it that close to me. I just use whatever cans, just better getting sauce or jar stuff, and you like your ragu or whatever you want. I know they like the ragu or some of them come in like great big huge jars. But I just use what, what I have on hand or whatever spaghetti sauce. Whatever one you like. So basically, I used a box of lasagna noodles, a pound of ground meat, but you can use two pounds to make it meatier. Um, I used two cans of spaghetti sauce for just under 24 ounces. So maybe 21 ounce cans, a couple of those. I had some leftover stuff I threw in too. And then either a big cottage cheese or, or two smaller ones, or you can use ricotta cheese. And then two cups or eight ounce shredded mozzarella cheese. You can, use a, you can use more if you want. And then I just put some grated parmesan on the top. How am I doing? I'm doing good today. I haven't done a heck of a lot. I've been at work all day. Uh, I went to sleep early last night, then I woke up at like 1.45 and couldn't get back to sleep for a bit. Then I got messaged by somebody, I'll tell you about that later, Amy. <laughs> and then I was up till probably almost five. So I didn't get up until... I think it was like 10.30. Okay. Well, I got late. Work was rough last night. I mean, it was easy, but... Well, you guys know what happened to make it yeah. rough. Yeah. Um, Challenging. No longer work there. Um, <laughs> and it was more of when I... he She came in to talk to my boss today, and it was more of a... He was like, well, I didn't want to lose respect of the management team. So, yeah, she's done. So, yeah, what she did was wrong, but because you didn't want to lose our respect, you went with my decision. <laughs> well, nice one to back you up that way. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, but it's still also a crappy way to. Yeah, crappy way to put it. Yeah, I'm like, what she did was wrong. <laughs> Definitely. But I'm going to her ever again, so there's that. At least he didn't give her, well, we'll give her one more chance thing. No. Mm -mm. You know, she would have been fine until the, she muttered those last words and it's like, you're done. You lost, you oh. lost any chance that you had to keep your job. Don't let the door get you on the wind. Yep. Crystal's making homemade chicken Alfredo for dinner tonight. That sounds delicious too. That'd be something I would make on a night I don't have a whole crowd. <laughs> Hello, old car junkie. Hello, car junkie. Yeah, I probably had, well, if I had a little extra, I could have made two 
have a little bit of meat sauce left, so I might do what my uh, sister-in-law does. She does a lazy lasagna. She takes like the meat sauce and then the cottage cheese, and then she just boils a bunch of pasta and mixes it all together. I might do that for to use up the extra since so like a little extra sauce, which I normally don't, but because I usually do one more layer. But I don't know what happened to my other pan. I'm so excited about the cottage cheese. Yes, I like chicken alfredo. Has anyone seen me? Uh, she messaged me yesterday. She's hanging out with a friend today. I think I know the news, Lance. Does it have to do with our favorite alien? Do big news today. Nope, I've never heard any big news. Don't go. No, Lance, I haven't seen her. What news? Hey, Boondocking Boomer. Full Car Junkie. Hello. Share, share the news, Lance. Full Car Junkie. Hi, Catherine. She was hanging out with a uh, friend. That's what she messaged me last night. Yep, our favorite alien got a cell phone today. Wow. But he already had one. Nope. So he had never had a cell phone before? Solux got a cell phone. And she said she would try to make it. She was going to see her friend today. To wait and see. You're sending me an email. You're sending me an email, Lance. OMG. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Reese will be right back. Hello, Lillian. So that was easy lasagna. <laughs> just has three has three phones, just never a freaking cell phone, cell plan. Bless you, kitty. Uh, I thought cell phones just a pain in the butt most of the time anyways. <laughs> most of the people I talk to are through Messenger or through YouTube. <laughs> I get the odd message from well, even my, my family not message me. Get the odd one, my, my kids will message me through Discord more often than they do. Anybody that's come in later, we made an easy lasagna. I will put the recipe in the description afterwards. It's in the oven cooking. And we're just going to hang out and chat until it's done. What plan does Solux use that reaches from outer space? You know, anyone know a good page to go plan? I've been on, uh, I was on TELUS, the page you go. That way I didn't have a monthly payment I had to worry about, but I could pay it. I paid enough on it in advance that I just have to go in and up the thing every week or every month. Oh, car junkies, I'm ready for it. I haven't eaten yet. I haven't eaten much either. I think I had a handful of chips. I think that's it. Yeah, I have a bill of chips and water. <laughs> Wayne saying, hello, Kenny. Hello, Amy. Hey, Wayne. Hey, Wayne McGee. Hey, Foss. Anybody have any big plans for this week? Or just same old, same old stuff? <laughs> same old, same old stuff. Yeah, pretty much here. Um, I know next weekend I'll be getting ready to spend some time with uh, Joy Blessed Life and Storyteller Donnie Ward. 
awesome. That'll be awesome. I uh, uh, going to be going to uh, the rod runs. I reckon they're still all happening due to what's been happening in Pigeon Forge Gatlinburg here lately. Yeah. Hopefully they got that under control. Yeah. Lance, you asked that same question in a previous chat for somebody. <laughs> 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 but uh, hopefully I'll also here pretty soon have that steering gearbox fixed on the van for too That's long. That's a long process getting that. <laughs> well, the thing about it is the guy that was going to do it, the guy that was going to uh come by and help me with it he got he he got sick with the flu or whatever and that's what that's where i'm at now so i i was telling roy i was telling roy i said i may have to wait till you get back get back this come back this way because I got the battery cable unhooked, so the battery ain't gonna go dead. So I got, I got, so uh, it shouldn't be good there. Wayne replied, replied. I said, you have a sister named Bobby. He said, no, my dad, my dad is. <laughs> But now it'll have to wait now until after. It'll have to wait until after, not this coming weekend, but it'll have to wait until the next weekend. Because they, I got to be here while he's working on it. So. Yeah. The Catherine yeah. thing, the RV. Old car junkie, a three day work week for me. I have no idea how many days. <laughs> Watching the little one after work, after school. They haven't notified me yet. Could be three, could be one. Depends on her dad's work schedule. Hello, Wayne. Yes. So Wayne's dad is Bobby McGee. Betty got razzed about that for, for the song. You don't, yeah, you have to think for work next, the next week, right? Do what? Amy, you have your thing for work the next week. Mm, the 14th. 14th. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I need to read that book. I have to read the Oz Principles. Oh, you got to go to a meeting for your work? Yeah. And I was sitting the other night and thinking, well, she was way this week, she's way next week. And I was like, no, it's not. It's the week after. Is it this yeah. week you're doing the painting thing? Yes. I have to get my supplies for that. <laughs> Anybody that wants to, let's contact Amy. If they want to join in the uh, paint along thing. We have to email Amy. I have, I have paint, but I don't know if I have the right colors. And I don't want to make like a purple pine. <laughs> well, you know, that could be fun. I, uh, I don't know what colors I have up there. <laughs> I've got, uh, I got something that I'm going to do. I'm kind of going to cheat a little bit. Oh, you're going to paint the wooden one? No. No? Okay. To wait and see. Yep. <laughs> Let's just say I wandered down Joanne's when I got the fabric, which I still need to make that blanket. Um, That's going to be cool. And then, because I've been working on that diamond thing, which I haven't really done because, I mean, I went out of town on my days off. Um, but I got something in the paint stencil section. So. Cool. 
cool. Hey, Ellsworth, Carl, Lacey, and Sarah. Hey, Ellsworth, Carl. And family. <laughs> and family. <laughs> yeah. Lacey, Sarah, Brooke, and Chelsea, if I'm not mistaken. And his wife, Stacy, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> If I remember correctly, he said the other day that he had four yep. special needs uh, yep. daughters. Yep. Sarah, Lacey, Brooke, and Chelsea, I think, are the girls' okay. names. His wife's name, I believe, is Stacy. I did watch them a while back. Um, Wolfman Rick from Wolfman Rants. And his kids went and met up with them when they went bowling several months back. It was on one of Wolfman's. And Chaos met up with them. And one of the girls flew across the uh, restaurant, threw her arms and legs around Chaos, and just went and knocked Jacob on his butt. That was hilarious. <laughs> So I did make black bean brownies for dessert. I do have a video on that with, I believe, the recipes in it, which is, they're great brownies for anybody that can't have, like, wheat or gluten, because there's no flour in it whatsoever. Our brownie at work is gluten-free. That's cool. I can't have it though because it's got pecans. Oh, there's, there's none in the, in this one. Yes, wife Stacy, girls Chelsea, Brooke, Sarah, and baby Lacey. Yeah, I, it did stick up there. <laughs> 15, 19, 21, and 23. Wow. So my baby is just turned 24. Now my oldest is 28. Can't believe we got one pushing 30. That's scary. <laughs> well, his wife just turned 30. Well, it's oh. hard to believe. I'm going to be turning 28 September 27. Technically, my oldest isn't 28 till August. He's about oh. six weeks older than you are, I think. No, more than that. He's beginning of August, so no, probably about six or seven weeks. <laughs> Jacob recovered from that attack. I don't even remember which one did it because it, I just thought it was funny because he just landed on his butt. <laughs> it was unexpected. Becky's will be supposed to be 50 in September. Wow. I don't even want to think of that. <laughs> a long time to someone, another 20 years. Ugh. I thought mine's that old, I'll be 80-ish. Yikes. I might be still kicking. Chelsea's birthday, September 25th. You're 17? Huh? And I was 31 when I had my first. He was supposed to be my birthday present, but he, he had to be evicted. <laughs> <laughs> he hung around for almost two weeks later. It's like, nope, <laughs> you're overdue. Get out. <laughs> What's we say Patty's day and he came through six days early. I was hoping I would say Patty's baby, but oh well. My parents are late eighties. 
My birth mother is 70, just turned 76. My adopted parents would have been, oh my goodness. I don't think what year they were born. Oh, wow. Yeah, my dad would be in the 92. My mom would have been 93 if they were still around. She'll still be 24 this year. We were told she wouldn't make it past six months old. She's a stubborn girl. Make liars out of them. <laughs> Longevity in our family, like her biological grandmother passed away this past year and she was like 93. My adopted grandparents on my dad's side, my grandmother was, well, my grandfather was like 96, but my grandmother was 99 and a half when she passed. Oh, wow. I don't know if we'll make it that far. But <laughs> My dad was 80 when he passed and my his sister passed last year from the crud at 90 no she was in, she would have been 90 in june i guess it's 14. i'm kind of glad to have done the teenage years <laughs> Young adults can be challenging, but I'm glad it has teen teenager years. <laughs> they weren't bad. My youngest young one was more challenging, but he wasn't bad. He just went through a lot of stuff. Although I found out more in the last couple of years of things he'd done during high school that I didn't know he had done. So <laughs> I was glad I didn't. <laughs> How many do you have? One second. Becky, I'll help you. We adopted a lot of foster kids and not all can take them. The kids that were adopted, some of them too, all done now. Well, I hand to anybody that fosters or adopts. My birth mom was 17 when she had me and she had another girl a year later and then she had four other kids later on when she got married but I was put up for adoption and then the next one was adopted by her parents I'm kind of glad I was put up for adoption <laughs> Especially the ones that foster and adopt older kids or sibling groups. Brooke is our second oldest. Stacy was pregnant with her at her senior prom. Everyone says you, you two look cute in that picture. We always laugh and say the three of us. <laughs> well, I have to kind of laugh because both of my sister in laws. We're six months pregnant when they got married. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't be pregnant walking down the aisle. That didn't happen. I was six weeks. <laughs> At least I didn't show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my oldest was born on our eight month anniversary. It was like, and he wasn't premature. He was over. <laughs> you know, things happen. Yeah, but. What about birth control thinking you wouldn't get pregnant for a while? Yeah. Two months later. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Three homegrown, 18 adoption, court ordered guardian for one. Wow. That's, that's great. Oops. 
sponsor group and special needs older population. I hand it to you. That takes a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. Another 20 minutes before we take the top off. So what are your some of your favorite things to cook, people? Give me some ideas for other Sundays. <laughs> Mine is my potato salad. I like to make uh, Sloppy Joe's. It's a recipe my dad gave me. Um, enchiladas with the recipe that my dad gave me. The potato salad is also a recipe that I learned from my dad. Um, those are about it. That's awesome. Because my boys are actually the cooks. The girlfriend and the daughter-in-law, not so much. <laughs> I'm glad I taught my boys to cook. I also, one year for Christmas, made this. This is this is them several years ago, being goofy. But I made, made a cookbook of a bunch of the recipes, easy recipes that I've made that I gave them for Christmas one year to the, them. So that they had something that they could look back on. I put the recipes in, then I put how I did, did things so that they, they would know how I did it. One thing I have not had is enchiladas. I have a really good, you'll have to share that recipe, Debbie. Like I make, so I get the enchilada packet and um, mix it with tomato sauce, water, oil. I cook that and then I brown hamburger and I put sour cream and cheese, cheddar cheese, mix it all up, put it in the tortillas, roll them up and then bake it. And I put like the rest of the sauce on top and then cheese on top. And then I garnish it with sour cream and uh, black olives mm. and Taco Bell sauce. I don't do olives, but they sound delicious. I have never. Neither do I. I don't do olives either. I'm out on that. And I had an ex who hated sour cream. Like he hated it. So I'm when I would make it, um, I would make half without sour cream for him and then half with sour cream for me and I'm, then, I'm the same way i i do not I, I despise sour cream and then we made i made enchiladas for, or i made sloppy joe's for him once and he loved them and then we were at the grocery store one day and he <laughs> gets so mad at me he's like oh let's do sloppy joe's for dinner i was like oh okay he's like what do we need and i was like oh we need this i go and we need tomato soup he goes what i go yeah tomato soup he goes I don't like tomato soup. I won't eat your sloppy joes anymore. I'm like, you've eaten them before and you've left them. Like, shut up. Sloppy joe recipe in here. You need tomato soup for sloppy joes? The one I make, yep. I use, I brown hamburger and I use a can of tomato soup. I use three tablespoons of Worcestershire, three tablespoons of ketchup, two of vinegar. I'll do salt, pepper, garlic salt or not garlic salt onion salt like a garlic onion or onion salt because i don't because my dad like did dehydrated onions and i don't like it so i use the onion or onion powder is what i use um, i'm thinking about digging into some of those keto friendly recipes that i found through michelle stitch dishes yeah that's what i'm thinking about No, it was Sloppy Joe recipe, and I don't even know where I found it. <laughs> and it's ground meat, a, one small onion, I dice up really fine. Salt, ketchup, mustard, vinegar, and sugar. <laughs> Lacey will eat plain sour cream out of the bowl. Love sour cream, but you, I- not me. You. Ugh. I'm not big on sour cream by itself, except when I'm having something like on my tacos or, um, I don't want no sour cream on nothing. Quesadillas or stuff like that. <laughs> I, I kind of dip it, I kind of dip it in sour cream and then the salsa. Um, I was going to use it on my 
Wait a minute. Yes, a bit. A I went to open it up. And my son had used what was left of the sour cream to make chip dip. Like, eh, no, I don't want dill chip dip. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Breath control doesn't work because Stacy thought it got pregnant with Lacey. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Mm-hmm. See that? We're at 3,000 places from Florida to all over the world. Cancel. I know Southwest had some technological issues yesterday. Or either yesterday or the day before. That's why you always fly in a day before your cruise. Yep. I was watching one of the families I follow. They got most of them are in Utah, but the one brother is in his wife are in Fort Lauderdale. So that would have been yesterday's vlog. And it was crazy thunderstorms they were showing. Hey manic mechanic. Hey Andy. It hasn't even got to hurricane season yet. <laughs> hey, Manic Mechanic. Welcome. No. And anybody send sour cream my way, it's going to go to file 13. Hey, Kenny, have you gotten a package from me yet? Yes, I did a mail call. The, I did a mail call uh, uh, Thursday when I did that live. Okay. So I was driving, so or I wasn't driving. I was hanging out with my friends, so I need to go you, watch. Something. You'll have to go watch the live. Yeah, it, it was during the live session. Okay. You know you mentioned. No, you mentioned that awesome. you were away. Yeah, and that's when I also that that is also uh, when I also redid my moderators. Uh, I, I try still trying to figure out why murder mystery haunted history is still blocked. I can't figure it out. I deleted, I deleted everybody, everybody's wrench except for the stream elements. And where she come in on her, where Murder Mystery Haunted History come in on her uh, backup account that she has it's called Crime Press. I made her a mod on that one. Hey, Robin. But for some reason, nobody, if she comes to my chat, she cannot, nobody can't see her under, under murder mystery, haunted history. She can't even comment on my videos for some reason. After, I, um, I can't figure it out. After the live, let's have you share your screen and let's look at your hidden channels. I was just looking at Kenny. So the sour cream. Is, I'm not big on plain sour cream, but I use sour cream in so many things to cook or one that's a salad too, and you would never know it with sour cream in it, which is weird. Yep, always fly at least a day before the cruise. You run, Nikki. Everybody's saying hi to run. run. And I've been. I've been in my hidden channels and I, I don't know how many times and she's not in that section. And I've been in my Google account section and she's not under there either. So I cannot figure it out. I told her last night when she popped in Danny Griswold's chat last night. I said, I'm still trying to figure out why you're still blocked on my end. I can't figure it out. So yeah, it shows up in everybody else's. I can see her. I can see. She's right now in RV Underways, right? RV Underways live stream murder, as Murder Mystery Haunted History. She's in there right now and I can see her in the chat. <laughs> I was saying, Kenny, the problem may be her channel name. Well, it shows in the other ones. I don't know what she wanted to shoot. Do you have any blocked words? 
I have a whole section of blocked words. Check your blocked words. Maybe one of her one of your blocked words is in her name of her channel. Or maybe something really close that it triggers it. Hard to say. I only have a few blocked words so so far. <laughs> Cause I found a I found a list. There's like there's actually a list on the internet. Thinking says, um, murder might be on your ban on your blocked words, and that's why she can't be seen. What's no. up, ladies and gents? I'm just waiting for my lasagna to cook. Yeah. I don't put the other in the. Oven. I'm with you, Amy, and what you were just saying, Kenny. I think there's some of those words that are keywords that we blocked on your channel that are probably in her name i bet you 10 to 1 they are because it's off that list that matt sent you right actually yeah that i found off the internet it's like over 900 and some yeah i guarantee murder. you murder's probably in there yep. so i need to take murder out of there then right yeah you'd have to go in and look through them and make sure like murder haunted Anything like that is not in those keywords. And then if it is, you have to take all those keywords out in order for channel names to pop up. Okay. Cause like I said, I've been following this channel for quite some time and, and she's a really nice person and, and things. And, and I'd like for, I'd like for her to be able to come back and be able to participate in the chat. You know, when yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess the word murder is on your blocked words. And that's why she can't be seen. There's not many blocked words. I would, I would probably. I have three. <laughs> okay. I have two. Two are profanity that somebody's brother came in and used in somebody oh. else's channel. And one was to do with the trucks. <laughs> what are the words in that? <laughs> I didn't want to hear any more about it. <laughs> gotcha. I tell you what, staying up every night till like three, four o'clock in the morning, I think it finally caught me. <laughs> it does. It Did does. Not me. Um, no, I got up about 12, 30, quarter to one, but I had to do some running around and I'm like already feeling exhausted again. So, and then of course, you know, Libby goes back to school tomorrow, so. Did she enjoy her uh, spring break? Yeah, she dog sat all week at, all week for my sister and them. So she had a whole house to herself and two dogs. <laughs> What's not to love? <laughs> Hopefully your boyfriend didn't tattle on you for <laughs> the live streams. <laughs> no, he told he told her. He's like, I love your mom and her friends. He, he's like, the one gentleman, his live stream is very educational. <laughs> he said, you are not allowed to come on that live stream anymore. <laughs> I said, my face, I don't think has ever been so red. <laughs> Did you tell him that he's not allowed to come on that live stream anymore? Yeah. Yeah, I said, that's an adult only live stream. <laughs> Amy, it looks nice there. It's 74 out right now. Mm, beautiful put it this way i'm outside in a short sleeve shirt and shorts i went to so it's what 40 degrees here i wore like sweat pant capris and the three-quarter length shirt and a spring jacket up to walmart and i said i feel like a bum and i said i hope i don't run into anybody that i know here sure enough what happens i ran into like six people and i'm like oh jeez jeez no <laughs> Of course that happens. Yeah, I have a number of blocked channels. I only have a few blocked words or hidden words. I have a couple of hidden channels and a couple of blocked words. Um, I have a lot of blocked protect channels. My, protect me. So. Yep. So that's smelling good. <laughs> I was eating dinner last night and I cracked my tooth right in half. Mm. Ouch. And I'm the type that if I go to like a dentist or something, I have really bad like phobia. 
like really bad. And um, I had a root canal go wrong when I was younger. That's why. So now when I get any work done, cleaning anything, they have to like put me out, clean my teeth, wake me up, good to go. So my husband's like, well, just go get it done tomorrow. And I'm like, an emergency, uh, an emergency thing. I'm like, you want to give me a bunch of money? And he's like, well, no, I'm like, I'll go this week. I'll make an appointment. I'll see when I can get into this doctor and they could just take the whole tooth out. Cause I'm like, that's a whole two pieces, two pieces of it broke right off. And I'm like, I'm not getting a root canal. Mm -mm, they can yank it. I have the fight with the like yank it and clean my teeth at the same time. We'll be good. <laughs> I went in for a problem with one on this side and they were bound in bed that they were going to do a root canal on one on this side. It's like, no. <laughs> I still have the one that wanted to do a root canal on. I don't have the one over here. I have I, the root canal um, one, but they want to redo it. And I'm like, yeah. it's not bugging me. No, no. it's fine. It made me so mad. It's like, and they wanted like $750 to do a root canal. I know. It wasn't bothering me. I was in for this one. Yeah. Hello, Diane. Hey, Diane. Hey, Diane. You jumped, uh, jump on what's click on it. <laughs> you got a few minutes, I'm going to take the foil off. That's the uh, lasagna. Will you make it lasagna? Lasagna. I hadn't even had supper yet. I had pizza at work. My boss bought pizza. I Libby and I just got done eating tacos, and then I made chicken Alfredo for tonight. The Lord only really knows when my other son shows up. Sometimes they show up at quarter to five. Sometimes they show up at five thirty. <laughs> I don't even know. We used to have it set for five o'clock or five or five thirty. It's five, and then the one I call my adopted son had been working at the time, and he didn't get off till after five so we set it till six that worked for the longest time well then he went away to school and we kind of backed up till 5 30 again but then it's kind of hit or miss whether my son shows up for 5 30 or five <laughs> it is what it is it's supposed to sit for 15 minutes after it comes out of the oven anyway so Right. And I'll put the recipe in the description for anybody who wants to see it. So, okay. Amy, did you have a good trip? I did. That wasn't enough, but it was good. Yeah. It has to be some, it had to have been some fun because you got to see your friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's good. You got to see Danny and his wife? No. Uh, Landon, Landon was sick. Like, hmm. she, Kimberly messaged me like three o'clock, three thirty, and was like, "Hey, Landon, just started throwing up." So, Aww. that's a boring kid. So, they took him to the doctor yesterday because of hmm. it. I don't know who was on Danny's live last last night. One of the boys sounded really creepy. Uh, and Landon was sleeping, so I had to be one of them. Adric. What was it? Adric or um or Scott's kid? Darren's son Billy was there and one of Scott's yeah. boys was there and I every time I heard it I couldn't see the boy the boy so I did it was like it was a really barky cough. It was like, it sounded like it was like bronchitis. Oh, I don't know. So Sam and Patty's with pierogies. I made the mm. hot bean brownies for dessert. That looks good. <laughs> it's funny because, I, and I have a video on it because you puree it in the uh, 
food processor or the blender is done so fine that you if you do it well enough you don't <laughs> you can't tell it's black beans in it the one time a couple times i didn't do it puree it well enough and there was little weird texture bits <laughs> from the skin but i learned my lesson because if you puree it well enough you look at it it looks like chocolate pudding <laughs> what is there's no nuts in it there's no flour in it so it's gluten free I made those and peanut butter cookies. The peanut butter cookies were gone and no time. <laughs> I ate the last one when I got up this morning. <laughs> the rest of them are gone in like 12, less than 12 hours. This is going to beat in a second. You get enough sleep, Kenny? Yeah, I got no sleep. I slept from about, uh, I guess, about 5 o'clock my time until about 1 o'clock this afternoon. Well, there's, there it is now with the uh, top off. That looks really good. It smells so good. Now it goes for another 15 minutes. Can I come to your house? Sure. <laughs> it might be gone by the time you get there, though, Kenny. The <laughs> <laughs> one day when you do come up to visit Crystal, you'll have to come across and <laughs> we'll make some good food. All right, guys, I'm going to go because my dad's calling me and I don't know how long I'm going to be on the phone for. So okay. I just wanted to pop in to say hello to everybody. We'll see you later. later. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. Salmon patties with pierogies. Not big on salmon, but I do like pierogies. You're not, you're not a salmon eater? I'm not. Not All a right. huge fan of salmon. I, I have eaten it. That's one of my favorite kind kinds of fish. I love salmon, mackerel, uh, tuna not fish. Big, not a big fan of fish. I'll eat halib halibut or haddock, and I'll eat like canned tuna, and that's about it. I have had some salmon. Yeah, I think because once in a while, my my mom that I grew up with her idea of dinner. Uh, oh, uh, Dinner on hot day might be a can of beans and can of salmon and some other things on the side. And I was like, I'd have a little bit of the salmon, <laughs> but not a. Yeah, I need to go watch your. I need to go. Uh, I need to see if I'm actually connected with your channel, uh, Ellsworth Carl. Uh, I need to see if I'm actually connected. I'm not even sure if I'm even connected. <laughs> I'm all. I'm all over the internet here somewhere it's hard for me to keep up who i've connected with and who i ain't <laughs> you're looking for the recipe after live well it becky i'll probably be after dinner before i get it up because by the time my but as time dinner is ready my oldest son might be here but i will put it in the description after so they're usually gone by seven Ish. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Yeah, Ron, I am not a seafood eater. Oh, okay. I uploaded a new video the other day. Someone commented and said, Oh, sure, if I. I love about any kind of seafood myself. I have to look, see whether I got subscribed or not. I don't think I am. Yeah, I'm not. It's the smell that gets to me more than the taste. I anyway, went out for lunch when I was working for the doctor's office. With the uh, well, the pharmacy representatives would take us out for lunch, and we went to one place, and the. Like I've been to the, the fish and chip joints and it doesn't bother me, but I don't know what it was in this 
place the, the fishy smell just got to me and I ended up having to leave. Just, yeah. And I thought I was going to be sick and I ended up going to the bathroom and went, that was even worse because it was close to the kitchen. It just made it worse. I was like, yeah, that, that kind of seafood and eat it diet. <laughs> Mine's the S E E. <laughs> if I have time, I'm making it up earlier, but it probably be after, after they go. Just be spluttering in there. I hear it sizzling. Oh, I hope everything will be okay, Floss. Take care. I hope everything's okay. I'm only thinking of you. Be safe. You're wrong. Wow. <laughs> that was, was, that a place? was that at your place, Amy? Or? Yeah, it's there's like a main road like right here uh here's the odd one here down here because i live on a main street but i'm coming up to a stoplight so but what they they race from that spot to stop to that one <laughs> a main road right here and then a main road right here and the intersection is like right there I'm going to main corner. Make sure here one that goes that way and then the hospital's around the corner so we'll always have the ambulances flying by. <laughs> well, I'll hear fire trucks. The fire station is like that way. Was it yesterday or the day before there was all kinds of fire trucks? This morning I was sitting in the living room and it was two police cars and then an ambulance went flying by at the same time. Oh, was that well, that's an accident or whether that was needing to transport somebody that was not safe. <laughs> Hard telling. You should just tell when those when they could see all the police cars around the hospital. It's like, oh, somebody's a little wild. Yeah, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Everybody take care of laws, prayers. Prayers, everything's okay. Yeah. I watched an interesting video earlier too. Um, the Lolita Loca. Mm -hmm. on, I'm, on the crud levels on different ships. Yeah, I, uh, I saw the thumbnail. I just haven't had a chance to watch it. Some are green level, some are yellow level, some are orange level. <laughs> so the ones that are participating, that's 100 of the 104, 105 ships. It's like, I hope that changes. I want to, I want to go to the fabric store too, because I'm still going to make some mm. to take with me. Yeah. That was a, let's see, I'm going to see some cool prints. <laughs> The way things are going back and forth, I was like, yeah, I'm still going to, I'm going to practice <laughs> safety. This is making me hungry smelling this. I can imagine. <laughs> I'm sitting two feet away from the oven. <laughs> and that must be what's going to be for your dinner tonight, isn't it? That's dinner tonight. Well, there will be four of us for dinner anyways. Do you usually, after you fix that, after you fix that stuff, do you usually have leftovers for the next day? Usually. Usually have leftovers for a day or two. Depends on, <laughs> depends how on much, my son. <laughs> depends on how much proportions y'all get at one time. <laughs> Or he gets the munchies later on and wants, oh, I'm going to have another piece. And there might be another piece. But my oldest will probably take a piece with him for his lunch tomorrow. He usually does. 
if uh, yeah. when he comes for dinner on Sundays, if there's leftovers, he'll take something for his lunch for tomorrow. So he doesn't have to make a lunch. So he doesn't have to make a lunch? Yeah. I got to plug up on my PC here because if I don't, y'all want to be wondering where I went. That's so why when I would move my computer from the calendar over here, I, I plugged it in because I find when I'm doing live, it yeah. drains the battery a little faster. Mine. Yeah, I usually run mine until about, it tells me that my device is getting low. I don't leave plugged up all, all. I think it's, I got it got in the habit with my last laptop because it was my last one. The battery was de dead on it, and the only way I could keep it going was keeping it plugged in. So I'm used to having it plugged in, and I forget oh, this one I can move around. I don't have to have it plugged in. But I wouldn't want to be in the middle of a live and all of a sudden it go dead on me. So. Yeah. Let's six four more minutes and take it out, let it sit. And then after that it should be ready to eat, shouldn't it? It says, it says to let it sit for fifteen minutes and, and then should be ready to eat. Maybe by the next half hour my son should be coming. I hope. I haven't heard anything different. <laughs> At that point, I'll have to say goodbye, and then we'll catch up with Amy later. See yeah. 11, 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central. Yeah. Yep. And, uh... Kenny, tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is when I'll be trying something that I've never tried before. Oh, you're doing the veggie mites tomorrow? Yep. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, it's going to be, uh, you, you shall see whether I give it a 10 or not. Well, I'll be surprised if you do, but. <laughs> <laughs> A scale of one to ten, so uh, negative. No. <laughs> I will be surprised if you give it a ten. I what will would Because you... <laughs> yep. it's gross. <laughs> At least you meant Benjamin. <laughs> Good luck. Well, I dedicated this live to Troy. To Troy S because he was the one that got it for me. He found it off of uh, I think Amazon. Uh, but uh, and I dedicated it to Down Under Cruisers because they are the ones that have been asking me if I'd ever tried it yet. So has Troy S ever tried it? I think he said he tried it. What I think he said he tried it one time. He said that stuff was. <laughs> That stuff was nasty. Yeah. <laughs> how are you gonna how are you gonna try it? Are you gonna put it on like a piece of toast? Or are you just gonna try it out of the jar? Well, how I'll probably try it on a piece of toast. I was told if I was gonna try it, that'd be the best way to try it. Yeah, I tried it on a piece of toast. My employees tasted it straight out of the jar. I, I really, very, liked it. Very thinly on the toast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're talking about Vegemite, Ron. Yeah. Hey. Diane says hey. minus he's, not, he's talking to you. What's up? Hey, Brad's going to turn my Tim. Sarah's going to turn minus 100. He's got a feel that my braid's gonna tell me it's a 10, but my tongue's gonna tell me it's minus 100. 
I can see that. There won't be a tongue slap. Your brain will be a tongue wanting to slap Troy for sending it to you. Some part of your brain wants to slap Troy. Yeah, Vegemite is gross. Well, I, I can't. I, I'm not a it, so I don't know. I haven't either, but I've heard enough of it to not want to try it. One minute warning. One minute warning. Who's up on the way? Just got through watching. RV underway, they just went off. Has anybody else in the chat tried Vegemite besides? <laughs> I, uh, like I said, I will try anything at least one time before I say no. I'm going to say no before even trying that one. <laughs> I'm just proud of myself that I actually tried it. I'm proud of you too, because I, I wouldn't have. I know Janice from Honest says she loves it. See, and Alana likes it, but Sean does not like it. That's what, that's what he was telling me when, when me and him did a uh, private Facebook message chat one day. He didn't like it, but Alana does. Yeah. Let's see, they're into their Monday already, aren't they? Can I get this all the way over here? They're getting ready to be here for too long. Yeah, it's Monday over there now. Uh, it's eight in the morning. Is it Monday over there? Eight in the morning. The look on your face when you tried it, Amy, was priceless. Oh, I know. <laughs> Why I recorded it because I knew it was going to be. Do my cats come outside? Yes. Um, however, they're both inside right now. Malibu's been in and out. Azul came out when I put everything out here. And then when I had gone back in, when she came out, and then when I came out, she ran back in and didn't want to stay out here. So. But yeah, they they like the balcony, but they will not go out the front door. They like the confinement of the the walls of the balcony. Come on, Malibu, come on. Come on. Yeah, just went off, so I just got through watching them as well. So another hour yet before murder mystery haunted history comes on yeah it sits for 15 minutes whenever they show up it'll be good to go maybe it'll be ready to go yeah no debbie they don't try to jump off um because it's one of these type of balcony walls so And they wouldn't try. Because, yeah, I want to say when it was like the bars um, in my old apartment in Kansas City, they didn't try to jump off. Smart cats. Yeah. Let's just say they have a very comfortable life, and I think they realize they have a very <laughs> comfortable life. They just lay around, eat food. Yeah. This lady takes care of us. Yeah. They have no desire to go anywhere. Matter of fact, they hate everybody else but me. Good watch, cats. <laughs> right. Hello. Uh, Malibu has only liked 
one person, and you would think it would be my best friend, who he's known his entire life, um, but it was a guy friend that I had come over when I was living in Kansas City. He came over and he ran right up to him, sniffed his hand and started rubbing on his leg. And I'm like, I have never seen that cat act like that with anybody. The funny thing is this person hates cats. That's usually what happens. <laughs> I, I look at my friend and I go, um, I've never seen him do that before. Hello, Sean. You like lasagna for breakfast? Hey, Sean. <laughs> happy anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary. Seeing the pictures. Move some cards of the way. Just in case for those that didn't see it, we can give another shot of the finished lasagna. Wish you had smell a vision because it smells so good. I want to eat it now, not wait for them. <laughs> that would be rude. Yeah. And I think there's only. My younger son and then my oldest son and his wife that will be eating since I think my son's girlfriend gave herself food poisoning last night. Uh oh. How'd she do that? She was creating something in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know. I was upstairs and I could hear her down here cooking. It smelled good, whatever she was doing, but she has not felt well. <laughs> Gotcha. Hmm. I have no idea what you mean. Let me see. No, it's not one of the. Sean says he'll eat anything. <laughs> anything? I, I don't believe you, Sean. What about the Vegemite? Thank you. Wishes. I'm looking in my in my blocked words mm -hmm. section and those that that's not even in here. Stomach clothes going around. Well, he tried to blame that on me. I wasn't sick the other day. I I think it was just some <laughs> the creation he made the other day. <laughs> With the chicken and the veggies and the skillet potatoes. It was too spicy and it didn't sit well for a while. But. No. It's not. I don't have Vegemite. <laughs> Both the rest of my panel guests had some. <laughs> I'm not having any. Pretty sure Amy ain't gonna have any more. <laughs> Never, ever, ever again. Send it on the cruise and feed it to everybody else. <laughs> no, but such a, I think she, she got what you had. It's like, I wasn't sick. I just had something wasn't sitting well. Yep. Looks like I have company. I'm going to mute this for a second. Aww. That's my good boy. <laughs> yeah, semi bugs going around. Landon has it. Had it. Matt, Matt will eat it. Matt from Family Plus, Tommy Fluid, as well as his daughter and her mom. Oh, I'm 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I know what the symptoms of stomach flu are, and I did not have stomach flu. So. Anyways, folks, my son and daughter-in-law are here, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. Sounds good. I, like I said, after they go, I will put the recipe in the description, and we'll see. You go the right way. You're over there. <laughs> we'll see Amy tonight, 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central for her live, and we'll see Kenny tomorrow night for his at 10 p.m. Eastern. Right, Kenny? <laughs> And 10 then, p.m. Eastern, yes, right after Father's Day, yep. And then I'll catch up with you guys at 6 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Yep. Not sure what we're going to do yet. We'll have to figure that out between now and then. I will see you in about six hours, Amy. <laughs> Until then, have a good rest of the day. Thank yep. you, everybody, for coming up. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Hmm. Oh. She forgot to end it. Yeah. Uh, hello? I'll, I'll send her a message. <laughs>